yeah, it feels great. Um, a lot of the guys are really excited to get after this season and um, get into preseason working hard. And um, we know it's going to be a grind. It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's not going to be easy. Um, but we're all looking forward to the challenge. When did you kind of decide that like you wanted to play for the next for this year? Um, I was always interested in playing. Um, we just had to figure out if Salt Lake wanted me back or not. Or, um, but we, yeah, it, it probably just took a little longer than it than it probably could have. But we're here. Two years ago, when you resigned, it seemed like it was about the same time right before training when that starts. So it leads me to believe it's kind of typical for mm -hmm. uh, to, to drag on like that. Um, did you ever doubt that a deal would get done at any point during the process? A couple times, yeah. Really? Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, I think, it's just a, it's kind of a strange time, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, we had quite a bit of turnover, as you guys know, upstairs. And um, so I think that's probably more of why it took longer than usual but um yeah there was a couple times where I think it was just things were lost in translation between agent and and things but we we sat down and we talked and we got through it and um we just really just got on the same page but um next time maybe we'll do it earlier but we got to where we both want to be so it worked out fine was there ever any possibility that you wouldn't be at Salt Lake but at some other team uh I don't think so I think it was either I play here or I would retire I mean, it's good to see you back. Do you do you have an idea what you want to do after your playing career? Um, not really. Um, this off season definitely made me think of, you know, that side of things because it was a reality that it could possibly happen, um, and I didn't really get too far in it. Um, but yeah, I think coaching would be, you know, definitely something I'd be interested in, um, or you know, going fishing more and stuff like that. So. But we'll wait for that to happen. For now, it's focus on soccer. What do you envision your role being this year? Do you think it's going to be just as it's been in the past, or have you communicated with you know Elliot and Freddie and might have a little bit different role this year? Um, I I think every year. I mean, there was years I think you would say, oh, he's going to start every game, but that doesn't mean anything. You know, you have to come to preseason. You have to whether I was going to start or not. Um, it 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 goes on throughout the season. So uh, we haven't really talked about that stuff. Um, and whether it's play a lot, play a little, I'm just here to help the team in the same capacity as I have in years before. And that's any way I can, whether it's on the field, whether it's playing a little, whether it's starting, I just got to be ready. And I'm going to try and be available for the coach um, to pick if he wants to and, um, and be healthy and be fit and be in form as much as I can. And, um, We'll just go from there, but it's it's really one day at a time. I mean, I, I've realized for years now, you, you never know. I mean, every day could be my last. So uh, just go in, try and give him my all, be available, um, and then we'll see what happens. Were there any um, former players, maybe teammates, whose ad advice, not advice, but opinions you sought as maybe guys who maybe retired too soon or maybe guys who retired too late? Did you kind of seek out any of those opinion opinions from anybody? Uh, I talked to some people. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, for the most part, I felt good after last year. Um, and yeah, I mean, big thing was, do you want to, like, does Salt Lake want me to come back? And when the answer was yes, then I was all, all game to play. Um, but I think mo a lot of the guys I looked up to, Pablo Mastroni, Javier, um, a lot of them stopped, I think, at 37. So we're going into some uncharted territory this year, but um, it's all good. During the offseason, Freddie kind of said that, you know, he, you were given a few options as far as, like, coming back, and at the top of that list was playing. Um, what were some of the other options that didn't include playing that obviously you chose against? Yeah, they, they really weren't even worth. Um, it was, I think... It was maybe a, a starting point for him, um, but it, it was it was play all, yeah. Okay. There were, I mean, most of the time you've been here, you've been a, a full 90-minute guy. There were obviously <coughs> some games you came off, you know, 80th minute or so last year. <coughs> um, when you see a role changing a little bit like that where maybe uh, tactically other guys are coming on to, 
does that make this transition, I think he's 36, 37, does that make it um, easier or more difficult that you kind of had a little bit of that last year, what it might be like where you're maybe not playing 90 minutes all the time? Does that make going into this year a little bit easier because you've kind of experienced that? No, it's always, I've never like, I've never told any coach I'm starting. They mm -hmm. tell me. So if they tell me I'm not, I'm not going to just be a jerk. I'm going to be a good teammate. So it's always been like that. I'm just here to help the team. That's it. Whether that's starting, coming off the bench, um, not playing at all, I'm just here to help. And I hope everyone else, and I truly believe everyone's in the same mindset. Um, that's how we have to be. If we're going to be a good team, it's going to take the whole squad. It's not just going to be 11 guys. It's going to be everyone. And uh, whatever's asked you, you got to be ready to do. So it's uh it's always been like that i mean when i was playing quite a bit there was times where i was experiencing that with the national team um so it's just part of it and when things don't go your way everybody wants to start there's 28 guys everybody wants to be in the 11 it's not going to be like that so now the question is the guys that aren't in the 11 are you going to be a positive for the team or are you going to be a negative negative? and for me i will always be a positive i'm always going to try and help the team and that's just the way it is every day try and try and help the team get better try and become better yourself and just keep going Along those lines, I mean, you guys finished third last year in the West. Um, how much of your wanting to come back was the fact that you guys have the potential to build on that and maybe even go a little bit further this year? Yeah, yeah, we do. Um, it, I mean, we, each year we've, like, since I think we went away from, you know, we tried, we have kind of threw out the old RSL and after 14, and we've kind of been building since 15, 16, 17, 18. 19. And each year, for the most part, we, uh, I guess the last three, we've improved every year. Um, we continue to improve last year, uh, finishing third. Um, you probably couldn't find one media member that picked us to be third. Um, so we know it's going to be extremely tough. I mean, um, but we got a taste of that, you know, having, you know, decent success last year. Of course, you want to go all the way, but I think once it comes playoffs, it's a lot of you know a lot of it's a crapshoot, and um, it's more on your body of work. And our body of work was third, um, so it, we just you know we gotta. It's not gonna be easy. just because we did we got third last year. It's not gonna automatically keep us there or higher. You know, it, it's uh, I think our still our goal is let's make the playoffs and let's you know f of course finish as high as we can in the standings, but. Um, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be extremely hard. Everybody's. Uh, around us is getting better, spending more money. Um, so, but we got a little bit of history together now, of winning together, going through some tough times. So well, that'll hopefully help push us uh, to have a good season. A little bit off topic, how much is it in the back of your, mind, of your mind, if at all, that the collective bargaining agreement ends at the end of this month and there's kind of uncertainty around that right now? Yeah, I mean, all I can say is the players were uh, together and hopefully it gets sorted out pretty quickly. Um, Fred is a guy who's been around the organization for a long time. Uh, what does he bring that's unique to, to this offseason, you know, um, compared to years prior? Well, um, we've, you know, we've had a, l a little kind of test run with him last year. This being the first, uh, so far he's been spot on, I think. Um, we've had a couple meetings and they've been perfect timing, perfect message. Um, and he, he's extremely, he's, he's a smart, smart person. Um, and he's got a real passion for the game. And I think it, it's kind of contagious to the rest of us. And um, he's working as hard as he can to get better. He knows he's got a ton to learn. And he's learning on the go and trying to get better. And he's doing everything possible to make our team better. So I think everyone, I mean, right away, he's got, he, he has our, the entire team's respect. And, um, you know, everybody's buying into what he's preaching. Sort of um, Freddie adjacent, he is bringing in like a, a coach that's going to specialize in like throw ins and kind of other types of dead ball situations. What value does a, having a coach like that have on, on a team? Uh, well, I guess we'll see. Huh? Uh, I mean, yeah, it can't hurt. It definitely can't hurt. I think uh, set pieces and um, you go in a World Cup, I think one out of four is a set piece goal. So if we can improve offensively and defensively on it and it gets us a couple points here or there, then it's worth every penny.